one tenth of a second. That is all the time you have before someone makes a first impression of you. Within 100 milliseconds, the human brain has already scanned your face and made a judgment about you. And the more the seconds pass, the more they feel confident in their assessment of you, even though it's most likely wrong. These vital seconds of snap judgments of your character occur all the time, whether passing a stranger or speaking in front of thousands of people or even during a pitch at your meeting. First impressions are vital, but they don't matter as much as you think because they are only important if they actually remember you. Now, being well-groomed and well-dressed is your first option, but see, that's not gonna make anyone remember you because if they see someone else dressed super nice, they're not just gonna automatically start thinking of you unless you wear something really memorable. But then you run the risk of being known for the guy that wears that crazy floral shirt or those really colorful pair of shoes. So most of the time in that sense, it's not gonna work in your favor. Now, enticing people with their ears is a difficult one because not all of us were blessed with a really booming, powerful voice and rich vocabulary. I mean, rhetoric in the art of conversation is an art after all, and people like myself have not mastered it. But there's actually one scent that we have that is so powerful and yet so underrated, and that is the power of our sense of smell. Our sense of smell does a better job than photos, music, or even videos at bringing back old memories and nostalgia. And nostalgia is a really powerful thing, but you really don't hear about the power of smell too often. Why is that? Well, it's actually because we're always hyper-stimulated by our senses. Screens stimulate our eyes and microphones stimulate our ears. And we really don't have to rely on our memories because they're always recorded. But even with cameras as our second eyes and microphones as our second ears, nothing can capture the power of smell. And that's why it's always forgotten. But that makes it even more powerful. So I knew a certain someone and they always smelled great. It was like patchouli or something. Got really used to that scent. But unfortunately, this person was taken from me, forced out of my life when none of us wanted it. But that's the way the world goes sometimes. And not too long ago, I went back into the choir loft at the monastery I go to. And as I was singing, I smelled her again. I smelled that scent. And my eyes got wide and I looked up to see her there and she still wasn't and it was just someone else that was rocking that smell but even when I closed my eyes it was so physical like I felt like she was right there right beside me it was so powerful and that's when I learned about the power of smell and even though this other person was rocking it it didn't matter because smell doesn't identify with the next person to wear it it identifies with the person that made the biggest impact in your life Now, you don't have to be like me and have a bunch of pain attached to it. Let's make these memories and smells good for you. And all you really need for that is a bottle of cologne and a few sprays, which is where Pete and Pedro comes in, which is a sponsor of today's video and the very first one on this channel. And I've used Pete and Pedro multiple times, reviewed them multiple times. I use their products every single day. And Rebel is actually the cologne I always wore around my woman, and she loved it. I've only been wearing actually Pete and Pedro ever since I got them. I haven't touched anything else. And Rebel was inspired by the famous Creed Aventus, whereas King was inspired by Creed Green Irish Tweed. And if you know Creed, it's extremely expensive. I'll never be able to afford it, but these don't cost anywhere near as much as that. So good for us, right? So if you nail that good first impression and you're wearing Rebel, someone else could be wearing Creed Aventus, but you're gonna be the person to trigger that memory because now you're associated with that similar aroma. And bonus, you didn't pay nearly as much as that guy. But maybe the guy you meet is a cologne connoisseur. Well, no problem. He'll really appreciate the distinction between this. And when he smells this, he will definitely associate with you. And guys, these are getting really, really popular. So if you start wearing it now, well, then you have a bigger chance of actually being associated exactly with this. So either way you look at it, it's a win-win. See, making a good first impression, that takes a lot of skill. But having people remember you, which is probably the most important, it really doesn't. All it takes is a good cologne. So I'll have Pete and Pedro cologne linked in the description below so you guys can go check them out. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video, Pete and Pedro. And also, I have a coupon code for you guys. And if you put that in, you get 15% off your next purchase. But it's only available till November the 15th, so you might want to hop on that soon. And if you guys want to see my non-sponsor reviews of Pete and Pedro products, I got you covered as well. So I'll see you there. And if I don't, until next time, adieu.
Asterimu, stay strong.